Now, only is his tenant not paid rent um, since June, right? So I already went over that at length, right? June, July, August, September, October. But on top of that, uh, we get nothing but complaints uh, from the rest of the neighbors and the neighbor that actually lives in there. Your landlord, she provided us a whole slew of photographs of the home and I, I on move out day and I gotta say the the house looked pretty pretty rough. It was in pretty pretty tough shape. You guys tore oh, that home up. Dude. What the fuck is so funny? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? It's it's just like you, you seem to be Jeez, God, whoa, God. I, Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me? Whoa, don't touch the camera. I can meet a demon star when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna You guys the owners? You guys manage it Oh, you managers? Okay Because yeah, people have been staying in the basement Yeah, the guy came out the other day, stole this van My dad lives right there, I left the key and I went for one minute, jumped in, took off The cops found it in five minutes But yeah, you gotta do something for that Yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're here, here trying for. to clear it out Great, God bless you, man Thank you Stole the fucking van. What a real piece of shit. Ballsy. Right? So you looking as ashy as me today? Yeah, I am ashy. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Me neither. So that's how you know we washed our ass. That's why I'm ashy. Clean? Right. apartment and I pay the rent every month she ain't lacking on shit and when uh if when we put a lock on there we're gonna give you a key I know but they, that key can't be that key you see that I didn't even know they broke the lock because I, I had a key two weeks ago but I need the key now for right but we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there and we're That's gonna, we're gonna give it to you the butcher knife. and um uh, Took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. Yeah, who wants to hang out in the dark? Mm -hmm. He loved the youth ball play. He drove it to. He said he wasn't waiting here. Hold on. Hello? Oh, fuck it. Here. Let's see if I can pull it over. I don't have to pull it over. Here. Pull it over so you can put it in there real quick or something. What? I'm not. How am I going to move shit and hold the baby? Is that right there? Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I just need them to go make these construction bags. Nobody wants to do shit. Just frustrated. Very, very much so. It's like you ask people to help and nobody, no, you, I have 11 kids. Yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when y'all were in your head and they have nowhere to fucking go. Uh, excuse me, what's no, here? I've... When you were laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. And now where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. How old's this guy? Oh, oh he's one. Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday, I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has a yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom best feeds, whatever. That's comical. That's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her. I said, no, she has hand foot in mouth. Mm -hmm. So 
not even that next day I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing you know and mom's I'm like get documentation make sure that's what it is and I looked at him this mor in the morning I'm like get the fuck out of here so I took him to the doctor and I'm like he's got a half foot of mouth here's your documentation I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out you know point blank period sure that's contagious as hell. Well, only within children. Sure, sure. Because yeah, we're, we're, we can fight the virus off. We yeah, can fight. Start stronger immune system. Exactly. That's what I said. So within these, like, I'm like, he's got it on his feet. And I'm like, you know, it's just bullshit. Everybody's like, don't want to deal with them. I'm like, you guys got me fucked up. So we're just going to sit in the truck and in the cars and just watch mom do everything <laughs> and hold the baby at the same time. Okay. All right. Well, you got, you got two hands, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? <laughs> Mom's a miracle. She can fucking do everything, right? <laughs> I'm like, seriously, let me go do the washer. Truck. Gary, you getting the door count? <laughs> That's, I think, specifically for the, the down unit. Yeah. So we should just be looking there. This down specific one too, looks like? Oh, yeah, I believe so. Let's see. Damn, dude, they do have a lot of shit up here. I always forget you guys stage everything before it goes down. So I was like waiting for someone to come around the corner with stuff, and I was like, "Oh, I don't think they're coming." No, hey, you're good. Takes less time. It's smarter. We're smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. And it costs you all less. Well, that's fair. Up and down, up and down. And it takes all day. Yeah. That's more money, yeah. Go down, pack a little, go down. It's a good strategy. Pack it all, then go down. If I'm in the way, you can just boot me wherever you need to get out of the way. Um, I think these empty bags are it. Give me that. Hello, how, how you doing this morning? Good, who are you? I'm James, uh, I'm the owner of Holton Wise. We got your house last month. Obviously you know who we are, we've been talking to you like all last month, you know what I'm talking about? No. Like, you know how you're living in the house and like you aren't paying your rent and since we took over your house, you uh, haven't given us the money? No, that should be paid. No. You paid that. No, no, so if you didn't, um, and like I've had my staff call you for like literally the last three and a half weeks and you have not been paying it. I mean it's ringing a bell. Okay, so I have three kids. Three kids that I need to take care of. And my baby daddy, he should be home soon. Right. We had to kick him out. Right, right. But I'm not I'm not really interested in him. Uh, because the issue is the lease. He's not on the lease, so like I don't know what you guys had going on with like the old landlord, but like the lease that we have when we bought your house is, is just you. So I'm, I'm just here talking to you right now. And I've had my staff contacting you like for like three freaking weeks. And then every time you talk to them, I get it. Like you're a mom, you got kids, but like none of that matters to me. To our understanding, according to your landlord, you rented a property from her in Pace, Florida for $1,200 a month, and then at one point you stopped paying and she had to proceed with eviction. Is that correct? No, I was late in November because I had a screw up with my bank account. And uh, we talked and she said that I could make it up in December and everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden she started processing eviction paperwork. 
And uh, she said, well, they'll stop it if you pay all the money on December 1st. Well, I didn't trust her. She was already looking for a real estate agent. She wasn't going to stop that eviction. And so I didn't. Okay. Now, when you say she was already looking for a real estate agent, what do you mean by that? One of our neighbors is a real estate agent, and she was looking to hire a real estate agent, and I got told. Okay. Hire a real estate agent to to what? I assume you sell the home or? To sell the place. You had the ability to pay her the money, but you didn't want to pay it because you were afraid she was going to sell your home? No, she was going to evict us anyway. So I, I felt that she was just going to go ahead with the eviction and not stop it anyways. Because okay. she had made one statement and then went back on it. I, I didn't trust her. And from talking to the real estate uh, company, it didn't sound like they did either. They didn't think that she was going to stop the eviction either. As far as you living in the home, how long did you live in this home? We were there for three years. Okay, and you paid every single month right up until the eviction? Yep. Looks like a bottle of pee here at the door. You'll have that sometimes. I hope it's only an analyst lock. Show me a look of defeat now that you have to drill out a lock. With pressure, it's not just like leisure lock drilling. No, this is this is the game. This is game time. Uh, you could. So Ken just told me they have an hour left on their first one. So, but it's no tenant. So um, I'm about to crack the door on one. I don't know if they're tenants or not. Well, you could meet Ken at Memphis to get their first choice ones rolling, and then I could come and relieve you if I can. So, so uh, call Ken and see where he wants to. You know, it's it's Memphis. It's their, their, their... And I took the one out there, too. It was upstairs when I come in. I just click it on the side mm-hmm. over here. Mm-hmm. See, that was for my sake. Mm-hmm. I don't blame you. Because my granddaughter's play down there. Cause that's where they like to play. And not. Uh, but since these motherfuckers been coming in, uh, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel Cause that's the man that like the cans. Cause I got two bags of cans up there for him. He'll wind up. You know, I, I know a lot of these people, and you know, my heart goes out for them. Especially all of them. There's my flashlight. I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. Let's check this out. We were just like, we were literally just fighting at the U Haul place. Like, literally, like, I'm putting my hands on a man that I know I can't beat. Like, seriously. Like, Who's that? My baby's father. I'm like, ah, just drive, go to Lakewood. I didn't want you to leave, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I was so mad. I'm like, they fucked up my U Haul. Oh, the Gizzy shot out of the car. I know it's heavy. 
Oh no, I'm I'm emotional, yeah I am, but I know how to control it after a little bit, you know. Sure. Yeah, do I want to go through the ceiling? Yes, I fucking do. <laughs> but sure. you know. No, I know it sucks. Uh, it was, uh, what I was mean, what was the whole story? Like what all happened? Because I know you. Well, I was paying rent. Yeah. Remember and then. Sure. Okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. So come to end of it, then I see an eviction every three months. Mm -hmm. So that's when I go and drop the twenty one hundred dollars or the eighteen hundred, and you guys see. Yeah. And you know what? Because it would be I, like three months of rent, is what you're saying. Yeah. So you see would... what I? If you go back and look at the paperwork, I was I was doing it because Katie, the one that you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five year restraining order on him because mm -hmm. I guess he was obsessive or whatever. But I've known him since I was little, so I'm like, all right, let me. I had nowhere to go. Let me help you, Blase. My mom just passed away. You know. So I'm like, okay, not knowing the situation I got myself in. I left you a little pathway, so. Oh, thank you. Don't feel as though you walked in for yeah. hours. All right. So, so Yeah, I'm gonna sneak by and. Oh. Um, I think once we stage in this hallway, then we can push down because we're kind of full in the kitchen. It's gonna be a long, long little afternoon for you guys. Oh. That's the only one. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh wow, because they were still, yeah. They might have more, but yeah, this is. He said they had the seven for the city. I'm surprised we only got one. Yeah. Because usually we had a majority in there. Oh, well, we got a bag? You pushing? Okay. Yeah, because right. I just left a little walk away. Okay. You know what, Anne? Everything light. I'm going to let you stay and pass to me. Okay. Richard, you can go on down. This, have you ever seen one of these before? Not for me, no, okay, this, no. This this is an eviction notice, you can have that. I, I'm gonna give this to you. That, that is yours to keep, okay? That is for you. This isn't for me, this no. is for my baby daddy. Okay, this is... <coughs> no, this this is literally... This is, this is literally for anybody who lives in the house, okay? So, you... What? Like, would I pay you that 950 when nothing in here works? And you know what? You don't, like I said, you don't know me. You don't know my situation. You know, and the fact that pisses me off the most is you haven't even asked me about my situation with my baby daddy. You haven't met him. Dump folks over there at the bar. And you don't know any of my kids. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through or my struggle. I am an independent woman. And my baby daddy's out there. He's probably at the bar with some bitch. And he's out here with me. And you're here. I, I, I get it. Yeah. You don't get it. You don't understand me. You don't understand what he's done to me. He's been gone seven out of seven. And he said that he was going to be at work. And he was not at work. And how come you did not pay the rent for the month in question that led to the eviction? What had happened? There there was a problem with my account. Um, I don't know if it got hacked or what, but the, the, the check got returned. And I tried to make a partial payment, and they, they, did, they charged service fees, and then that one got returned. So, I mean, I was, I was in kind of a bind. Okay. I now, killed her, and I killed her right away. You are a grown adult, as is she. Do you really feel like it is her responsibility to help support you and your family? I would assume, you know, as adults, you and your husband, you guys would take on that responsibility to provide a roof over your own heads, no? I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we'd been there for three years, and we were always we were always early. And like I said, I know the house the house got bad in the last year, and and we never intended for that to happen, but we were working on fixing it. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Oh, he's just gonna crush the. Yep. Cool. Right, now, now. I was getting you. Tell me. Tell, no, the tell screws. Me. No, I'll just pop it out. Yeah. Oh, what, what was you saying, Rob? Hey. 
I have nothing more to say, man. Yeah, right. He's been doing this a long time. I mean, 34 years. Yeah, yeah. He's hey, seen every kind hey, of lock there is. Me the hell up. Look really bad. <laughs> Hello, Bayless. Hello. Trying to trying to pop all the pins. Is it empty? Oh, so, a lot of the time we we get property managers who are just like some chick they send or whoever, like not that experienced, and um, and he comes in handy like that constantly. But, but when he was like, I could tell he was uh, like uh, he wanted to jump up, and I was like, I was like, no, these are these are real property managers here to do this shit every day, you know? And, uh, yeah. And uh, but but I I need to just. I mean, yeah, that was impressive, eight. right? That was impressive. 34 years, man. You can't... You can't beat it. can't beat that. That was... Terry, let me show you something. Save you a little bit of time. Oh, a little bit of time. You did it, like, immediately. <laughs> well, it also was one of the cheapest locks I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the yeah, fact that you didn't bash uh, every pin... Or not, man. I, that was, like, 10 seconds, and that thing fell, fell in two pieces on the... Uh, yeah, appliances should be ours, yep. Uh, yeah. Just the, uh, the fridge and the stove. What's that? No, huh? Yeah, we were thinking. Yeah, most likely. Damn, look at that fucking thing. Hard to tell what was like left behind and what's new. It's never been this dirty down here. Yeah, well, yeah, I know, I know a lot of this. I don't know what these are. I don't know if this is. You got sheets up here to divide off the room if they were sleeping in here or something. Because I bet you, I can almost guarantee it, that that lady's probably charging her. A hundred bucks just to live down here without, you know, I won't say anything, but you gotta give me a hundred bucks to live down there. And then we can go outside for a bit. Regroup. How you guys doing? You guys, uh, about to fix one up? No, we're there with the managers. No. Just, we just got a report there's a lot of people kind of squatting in here. Yeah, we kicked out the squatters and we're gonna add a lock, but. Who are you guys with? Holton Wise. Holton Wise? We're the property managers. We don't own the property, we're just the property managers. Yeah. The guy just drove by said that somebody stole a van and you guys found him like five minutes later. Yeah. Well, one of the squatters is that we kicked out yesterday is walking down there with a big EMS bag. Yeah, yeah. We, that's the that's one we kicked out and we're waiting for his girlfriend. He's in the basement still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I said, okay, I called Lakewood Cops. Get the fuck out. And that's when I walked up to you guys and I talked to you guys and uh, the lady at the desk and everything and let them know. Like, you know, I'll take over. Well, they said he had, a, um, I'll take over as long as the lease is in my name. Well, what she said is, uh, I said, I can afford the 750. They're like, oh, no, 895 with deposit. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, well, that would have been different. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, then I can't, I can't afford it. You know, so. Huh? Well, I think that's true. So then, therefore, I was like, well. If he doesn't take his name off the lease, then I don't know because they, he wanted him out there saying that I'd take responsibility or something like that. He never did, so hey, I got screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, point blank, period, bottom line. So, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. You know, I would have paid it, I would have took over the 750, kept it going, and you know, maintained and I painted the walls. He did all this shit. I'm like, you know. Yeah, what? I mean, so you haven't seen him since or whatever? Or um, like it's... I've seen him when he brought the cops over here trying to take my BMW because the plates are on in his name. Mm -hmm. And I told the cops, I said, no, that's my BMW running in. Yeah. And they were like, oh, no, that's hers. You could take the plates off and plus they're expired. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, no, I haven't heard. I heard you that. Um, I seen his brother the other day. He's like, they haven't really heard him anyway. You know, dad, so... Yeah, well. Isn't that where you can bring stuff in the neck back there too? Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I already got so much done. Oh, I see somebody down here. What's going on here? Maybe somebody complaining. What the hell is this guy? 
I hope you guys can see that. What the hell was that all about? I feel like I just caught the tail end of that. Other guys probably got it though. That's beauty. I don't smoke, I'm sorry. Like, you gotta smoke? I don't have one either. You smoke? No, sorry. No smoke. <laughs> Nothing goes right. I don't know what to tell you. 375 by Wednesday, that is the best that I can do. I under, I can't. It's, my hands are tied. I can't, it's, we can't do that. And you know what? That's all you're ever gonna fucking get is that 375 because nothing in there fucking works. We got the leaky faucet, we got the garbage disposal not working, the toilet's running. The tub's disgusting. Do you clean it? Yes! Then, Almost every day. Then why is it fucking disgusting? I don't fucking know. Like, do you, like is it, like, how do you think it gets gross, bro? Like, I don't, I, I don't know. You said this is your place, huh? I, I don't take baths here. What am I gonna do? You know, and Chris is sick. Did you know that? Did you know that Chris is sick? He's been sick for two weeks. With the flu, he's not eating. He's losing weight. I don't want to talk about your baby daddy. I don't want to talk about who's on the lease, who's not. No, 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 but you don't understand. You don't understand what it's like. They have three kids to be struggling. I'm a hardworking woman. Now, as far as the eviction process down there in Florida, when um, you do an eviction anywhere, of course, there's a court hearing and uh, both the plaintiff and the defendant, uh, you know, the plaintiff being the landlord, the defendant being you, uh, you both stand in front of a magistrate and, and plead your side of the case. Did you go to the eviction hearing and explain all this about you didn't think she would, uh, you didn't think she would actually allow you to stay there even if you paid? Did you explain this to the magistrate? I, I didn't go. I didn't have a vehicle. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have anything at that time. So you just opted to not pay and then not go to court and you just were accepting that you were being evicted? Yeah, I just didn't do anything. And that part of that part of that is uh it goes along with my disability. I was pretty much in a in a in a deep depression and I couldn't move or do anything. Okay. My husband was out of town and I was just I, I, I just couldn't move. Now, real quick, I want to pause things here. That voice you hear in the background behind April, that is actually April's husband. Now April had said to me that he was out of town when the rent wasn't being paid and all of the issues occurred. According to the landlord, the husband, April's husband, was actually in jail at that time. First impressions. Oh god damn it stinks. Uh, god damn. Uh, that on my light. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Well I wish I could describe to you the smell, but it's a. Uh, uh, Woo! Spooky room! Oh, hold on. What the fuck are those? Oh, shells. Cool.
And the girlfriend's still down there claiming that she knows the lady that... She's she down there right now? She does. The lady She's down there right now, yeah. One, uh, babysits her child. So, okay. and the, the unit one kind of takes... She doesn't live here, but she stays here occasionally. So it kind of handcuffed us a little bit. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just we kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. A residence? A residence, not a living space. Right, yeah. right. No so bathroom. If you need us to haul her out of here, we did yesterday, we'll do it again. Okay, I told, I, I, told, I told her she had 15 minutes to gather her stuff and get out. Yeah. So if you guys want to swing by again in a couple minutes. Uh, let me holler down real quick. Let me see if she's getting out. Tell her the police that were here yesterday are here today. Okay. If she wants to go, we got a free ride. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what, he just showed up and like knocked the window out on you or something no, like that? No, he came up here That's with true. the cops and I'm like, the cops came out. I'm like, what's going on? I was cooking dinner. I was like, what's going on? And the cops yeah. were like, uh, he wants to get his car out of here. I was like, number one, my that the car couldn't move the Sentra mm -hmm. because I was in an accident. Mm -hmm. So I had to get investigated and all this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, after that, then... Um, I'm like, well, I could get towed out of here or pushed out of here, but uh, he's like, well, that's his BMW. I said, I got all the paperwork in the car. You want it? But what were you going to do with it? That's how bad it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, literally, that's how bad it was. I'm like, like, what kind of drugs are you on, dude? I could see somebody smoking pot or something, but when you're stealing from people and yeah, stealing, sure. you know, it, it's habit. worse than that, dude. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I have 11 kids, you know, and God, don't take from me. You know, I'd help anybody in a heartbeat, but... Those ain't even our table. Like, it might be yours now if you want them. I know. <laughs> Maybe they're bad vibes though. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking. Um. Only the bottom two pieces come off. The glass on the bottom two pieces, which I wish you take off. Like, just lift it off. Put your hand underneath and lift it off. Yeah. Take it off. Talking about the empty one? I don't know. You want to hand take it? You know what I'm saying? Let me clear this room out quick. There's a better look at that stain, it's a burn hole. Shoot. The way this works for here, okay, whether or not you're hardworking, whether or not you have kids, like, you, you have to pay. If you don't pay, I have to send. But I told you that I would pay. I will get you that money ASAP. We've, we've been trying to get from you for like three weeks, though. Like I said, my baby daddy will be home, and he owes me a lot of money. Oh, let me tell you, he owes, I said years, right? So yeah. maybe half of that. That's when I kicked his ass out and he stopped paying child support. Yeah. 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 So it's like I need to take care of myself. I need to take care of my three babies. Sure. You get it, right? No, no, I get I got kids too, I get it. How old are your kids? Uh three, five, and seven. Yeah. Okay. Um no, I get it. I totally understand. Thank you. No, I get it. I knew you weren't a greedy bastard. No, yeah, sure. Uh but back to it's to clarify though, um, like 
you have three days to make that happen, okay? Like when I give make you, what I gotta get all the money you owe. Your landlord, she provided us a whole slew of photographs of the home and I, I on move out day. And I got to say, the, the house looked pretty, pretty rough. It was in pretty, pretty tough shape. You guys tore well, that home up. It, 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 was, it was, but it was pretty rough when we moved in, too. They never fixed anything. Can you elaborate on that? Um, well, we didn't have a stove for the first eight months. No stove, no dishwasher. Um I've got I've got pictures and um and lists of everything that was wrong with the house and they never really fixed any of it. Um about eight months later they got the stove fixed. Uh the deck my uh, son fell through the deck once and my daughter fell through it once. They knew it was bad. They never replaced it. There was a hole that went from the bathroom to the outside that was there when we moved in and we've been trying to get them to fix it for forever. And a few months ago, they came in and threw a piece of plywood over it. And they know it's all rotten out under there. The joists are rotten and everything. Uh, the kitchen floor is rotted underneath, and that's been that way since day one. The laundry room door was kicked in. The laundry room door had been kicked in and never fixed. It was never lockable. The window fell out on the main. Yeah, and the window um, in the one bedroom fell out and hit, the, hit, hit my granddaughter in the head, and that's still not fixed. We put a piece of plywood up that night, and they never came and fixed it. So, this is not good. Very bad smelling. I know you have to post that, but be careful. It's a What's up? There's a pungent odor coming from there. Oh, I believe it. Almost done? Oh, she's almost done. Yeah. You almost ready, dear? Yeah. That's fine. There's just the, the cops out. There's cops outside. They said that they kicked either you or somebody else out the other day, so yeah. they're waiting for everybody to get out. We checked the whole basement yesterday, and this is a white female short red hair. Yeah. What'd she say? She's just grabbing her last couple things. She sent that already. So she's got two minutes. I didn't even see that other girl going there. Where the hell did she come from? I don't know. I was, I was just telling her. I didn't even see them. Her. Number one's kind of a peculiar woman. Mm -hmm. If she's giving them right to get in there or whatever call it, that might be a problem. That That's why we're going to put a lock to the basement that we're not even going to give the tenant a key for. Right. Until, she wants, she, to, until she wants to come to the office and get a key. Right. It's a possibility. It's just, you know. So you were saying that the owner doesn't even return our calls. Yeah, the owner just doesn't get back to us for this place. Wish I had money to buy a place and just not even worry about what's going on in it. So how'd like the how like the window thing come to be? Because I know you you you, you like came in and told me like what did he like show up over here and knock this thing out and like yeah it's because that's what you were saying like the dude like oh, showed dude, up yeah and, my son was asleep yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck happened to the window? No, I'm yeah. talking about the window in the kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, the kitchen, the window is boarded up in there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so what the fuck you do? Come through the house and, you know, what yeah. the hell happened? Well, you got, you said you got your TV and stuff back. Yeah, but right? they did. Like no, we got all our TVs. I got a phone call at 2.30 in the morning. Uh -huh. And the neighbors got cameras. Outside. That it was open, you're saying? Yeah. The window or whatever? No, no, no. The neighbors got cameras talking about that he was around here. So she'll call me and whatnot. Gotcha. So I said, okay. So I, I guess the back door was locked, unlocked. Okay. So when we came over here, the back door was unlocked. So I, I did come in the house, you know, I said, I'll call that the cops. I don't give a shit. Sure. Because I got a 65 and 75 inch, you know, use all this shit that I had. Sure. So I'm like, you know what? If they show up, they show up, but it's all I can. 
Sure. You know how he got in here? Why the back door couldn't have got on lockdown unless you broke in the house? Well, you had to. Have so in. my kids were like, okay, well we're taking all the TV. My my thinking was that front window. He pulled it out or something because like I noticed it's gone you know he probably climbed through and like unlocked the door See, that, that's a whole thing. well if that's your TVs and stuff he probably was trying to come in and get them you know yeah exactly like, it's it's, sure. that's why I said you know what that's why I said screw it I, I turn around and then I see him, like not even the next day because I, I think it was a Saturday or Sunday and I'm like grab my bed too fuck it while we got a truck you know mm -hmm. the next day is when the um the window was boarded up and the door was locked because I yeah. double checked because I tell you I come over here every day to make sure Nothing comes up missing, nothing's out of place. Cause you know, I don't even want to fall back on me. You know that. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I told you that my baby daddy's coming. No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. But I gotta get that in three days though, okay? So, if I don't get that in the three days though, I just, the, you've never been evicted before, I assume, right? No. Nope. Never, never know, nope. I, no, okay. No, I don't know what this is. Okay, no, so. I gotta have that in three days. If I don't, I, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. My staff is gonna call you, uh, and, and then we're, the police are gonna come, and like, we're gonna, you're gonna have to go. So, perhaps, maybe, instead of that, like having my people come and like kick you out of the house, if in three days you don't have the money, perhaps you could like go to your mom's house maybe, yeah? Look, look, look that is not even an option. Look, I am struggling here. I am struggling, I've got three kids. How are you gonna do this to a single mom? If all of these items uh, that you are, you know, saying were not fixed or they were not responding to your request to fix these items, I got to ask, how come you folks decided to stay in the property for three years? Why didn't you just uh, move out after your, your lease ended? I assume it was a one-year lease? Yeah, we just didn't have anywhere else to go. Okay. Um, I, well, you were paying $1,200 a month when you say you didn't have anywhere else to go. I, there, there's no other homes in the area that rent for around $1,200 a month? I have a Great Dane. Okay. And this was the only rental property that would allow you to keep your Great Dane that, in the that, home? That, that, we, that we could find, yeah. Ours, uh, 61st next? Yep. Oh, okay. You have a chance to walk to make sure you're happy? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I mean, they didn't leave anything, so it don't matter. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, one of our other property manager people, Gary, will meet you there. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there. I can't. Uh... I asked Gary. Uh, is he gonna be there? I think Gary is there. I asked him if he's on his way or if he's there, and then I told him that these guys are ready. So I think he's there. Can you text Derek and tell him to come over there too? Just so. Gary's not a good interview. Gary's <laughs> not a good interview. Gary is all work, no play, that's why. Yeah. As it should be in some cases. He's all gas, no brakes. Yeah. Gary's like, alright, I'm done with the work, bye. Yeah.
Hey, I punched out your locks. I did the bid. Uh, fuck off. I'll see you later. All right, I'm going to head over there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I need to go get a thing of the... Hold on. I want to get a... Uh... I don't think I got a, a walk up on the uh, the tag. This smells bad in here. Oh shit! Yo, this probably supposed to go outside. You should go in the passenger seat and grab those. We ready, dear? Don't worry about picking anything up. Just. just... That's all right. I appreciate that. We'll take care of that. You just gotta. That's fine. Just, just, I just gotta get you I was out of here. There is no Jeremy. Jeremy with the. Yeah, there's no one outside know. anymore. Oh. Okay. Alright, I just said it might take me a few trips. Is it it, yeah, that's fine. God damn it. It's hustle, though. Right, we got all day. I'll just wait for her to grab the rest of her shit and get out of here. We have a cut thing on. We put all that shit on my floor. There is no dog out here, no. I mean, it was going to in the end, but God, you know, but no, I don't want them to come in here and start living in the house, smoking it up like it's a crack house or something. My shit's in here. Or you know what I'm saying? Do damage to the property. No. Sure. Not as long as my shit's in here, because like this shit's going to get cleaned up before I leave. I'm not that type of person. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not dirty. I'm not, but I'll be damned if somebody takes my shit and I worked hard for mine. My, my daughter just broke my 75 inch flat screen TV. We just had it up in the house for a week. You might be able to grab that box for you. I don't know what's in that box. Oh no, I that's heavy. That's what he was, heavy. yeah, he's, oh, he's waiting for yeah. my brother, or my son. That's a two-person My son's gonna, <laughs> my son's gonna say, hey, I owe him too, huh? He's gonna be yeah, calling so, a third guy. Huh? <laughs> He'll be calling a third guy. <laughs> no, my daughter and I was out there and then, well, my baby father and everything. I mean, as soon as I put this baby down, they'll get their asses in gear, like seriously. What's Samantha got? She got grant. She got nugget. You got the screwdriver? Yeah. Hey, you think I'm worried about that? I think yeah. I was seeing the window, but we like the back door was unlocked. This ain't like, for me. Yeah, oh, it's shit. already out. Your shit's already out. Yeah, right thing. I could be at home playing my game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I decided to be a good friend now. Stay out the way. No, no, I, I understand. I get that, but. Like what, what you have going on is not necessarily related to, to our relationship here as Holton Wise, the homeowner, and, and you, so. You're, you don't care. You don't care about anybody. You had mentioned all of the, the wrongs that you feel your landlord did to you. Not fixing the stove for eight months, squishy <laughs> floors, a window falling out, them not fixing it. Do you feel like the things that your landlord did to you justifies what you did to her? No, 
you know, I know. And I didn't want to leave the house that way. I, I really did not want to leave it that way. It just... Yeah, we, ordered a we, we were in order to dumpster. We're going to start hauling stuff out. And they said, don't worry about it. We have it. And the house, the house got bad the way it was within the last year. I had a, I had a really bad relapse um, with, with the mental health. And so I wasn't in charge of anything anymore. The kids were bringing animals home. Um, my son tends to be a little bit of a hoarder and it, it, it just, I just couldn't mentally deal with it. And you know, that's my problem. That's not her fault. That's not her on her at all. This is all stuff like I, when I was, uh, was saying, I looked at it a little bit, I just had moved and I just lost the system for my truck. You know, like my truck and an indoor to put it in. I love my truck with like a bed and stuff. I'm gonna take this to my grandpa's next door. Seminole or something. My grandma that lives next door. I actually like um not heard this fight when he was saying my grandpa, you know? Well, that's for So there's only one more thing I need to do. There's like a plate of food right there that I wanted to grab. It's her plate. Oh, that's right. You just it's like right down on the ground. It's right there. It's like the only person. Thank you guys. No problem. Thank you. It's okay if I <laughs> He took my 60, I had a 65 inch in here, and I had a 75 inch in the box, so he took the 65 inch, put it in his room yesterday. <laughs> so. There's something in it for you, that's why. Because <laughs> <laughs> he does not streaming, or what do you do like that? What game do you play now? A lot. On the PS4 Pro? Yeah. Fortnite, Red Dead Redemption. So like, so he took the 65 inch, and then my daughter had a, um, my granddaughter got brought home with a whole bunch of toys. Mm -hmm. And there's this kitty toy that I can't stand, so I just keep kicking it down the stairs. Well, all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, no! I knew my TV was cracked. I have a warranty on it, though, but I don't know, you know. I don't know. I don't lie about this shit, but mm, I'm like, there goes $2,500. You just say it showed up like that. You're fine. <laughs> I don't like that, though. But see, that's the whole thing because it came here. Yeah. It got delivered here. Mm -hmm. Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I, and is that a new house? Because we were moving into a new house, so we waited till we moved. I mean, it's pretty weird. Uh, I can't, they're going to be like, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's got it. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's a full and a twin. <laughs> it's the only way to move. Swear at it till it goes where you want it to. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Left a damn TV. Shoot. Threw that gray thing back up because it's empty. You can put some stuff in there. Perfect. The only thing I'm here to talk about, the only thing we can talk about, is how do we move forward from here today? You have the three days. There's there's option A, option B. Option A, you pay, you continue to stay. Great, that's cool, bro. Happy to have you. Option B, you gotta go, like on your own, because I don't have anywhere to go. Right? No. I, you know what? Look, look, look. How about I make you a deal? Yeah. How about I get you three seventy five by Tuesday? I I appreciate that, but we, we don't accept partial rent. It's gotta be all of it. You can't do anything for me. No. Like we've been 
but it's gotta be Gloria the Gloria was different. She was so much nicer. You know, and also there are a few things that she never fixed here that you got here, come here. You gotta see this. Here, let me show you something. I, I don't wanna go in. I don't wanna what half this shit doesn't even work. I like what? We got the garbage disposal, we got the air conditioning, the toilet's leaky. Okay, look, I the food's now cold. I well, it's your fridge. Uh, but they never really, they didn't give us a chance to get the stuff cleaned out. We were more than willing to clean it out and clean the place. And they said, no, don't worry about it. Well, the, the process from actually serving you an eviction notice up until going to court. And then, of course, the day that they remove everyone and everything from the home, that process takes uh, at minimum 30 days, correct? How long does it, how long did it take from the moment she told you you were being evicted to the day they moved you all out? I would say it was just at 30 days. Okay. And in that 30-day period that you knew you were being evicted, and in the previous month before that where you didn't pay her the $1,200 in rent, why did you not move any of your items out during those 60 days? I did get the vehicle. It was me by myself. I didn't have anything to move with. My son my son sold my car in July, and I had this little $400 uh, car that, that, that barely ran. And I, I, I couldn't move anything. I didn't have any place to take it. And, I, you know, we got what we could out with uh, the, the car that I, I uh, subsequently bought because I had to have something. I'm worried about that. I'm worried about a nigga because the fuck? Bitch, I know you don't care. I don't give a fuck if you care. What did they could be throwing the shit well, going I, on there? I don't give I, a fuck. That's the stuff on the front stairs is mine, but everything else isn't mine. Well, my signs go ahead. I'm like, everything else isn't mine. I didn't know they turned off the light. I told them not to turn them off. I don't know. I won't go up there. Excuse me. Nah, there's really not that much. Yeah. There's so like going up there for or no? Like all the bricks really. in the backyard are not mine. All that, like all the stuff in the backyard, mm -hmm. that's not mine. Yeah. Just the um, just the little kid's bike, the yep. umbrella, and the grill is mine. Okay. All that other shit is not mine. Um, the BMW and the Spectrum, my son's on his way, so hopefully we get that shit towed up out of here. Yeah, you're gonna. That's what you were saying. You're gonna bring a truck or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're supposed home. to. I mean, it's like all coming down on me. I'm like getting frustrated, aggravated, and I like one person handling all this shit. You know. I know. It's I. I appreciate it though. I'm trying to get this shit out of here. Look, and I'm holding the baby in my hand because he's got hand, foot, and mouth from daycare. Great. You know, that's in kit to tages. Got it? Yep. Took a little bit of time, but now we are into the magic. Uh, we got uh, the movers starting to actually get some of the items moved on to the lawn. And uh, this is what happens when you steal from your landlord. Stuff right here, stuff. Oh, we got, huh? We got a lot of stuff right here we got to get first. Yeah, I was just taking one person. Oh. That's gonna fill up the whole lawn with this, with everything that's in there. Yeah. Shit. Left everything. The only thing I'm talking about is we have to take care of the rent, okay? The other stuff, the repairs, 
we could do that stuff but like right now we have to talk about the rent okay i can't do 375 you have to give me the full 950 and three it's, no it's gotta be 950 i can't it's gotta it's gotta be the 950 you know what? i can even do 450 by wednesday no it's gotta be the 950 or perhaps if that's not possible what about we get a what about we get a plan and you guys get out of here so I don't I don't have to take you to the court, right? I don't want to take you to the court. I don't want the guys coming. Like again, you've, you've never seen what we do. Like you've never seen my the bit like with the people and they take this shit out. You ain't never seen that shit. No. Like I don't enjoy doing that. I don't want that to happen. So it'd be great if like you guys could just fucking move out then, maybe, huh? Yeah? Like what what this baby Where am I supposed to go with my three babies? What about the dad? Where's the dad living? You I told you like five times that and he'll be able to talk to you. His name is on this house. He owns this house. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Wow. All right, look. Stupid prick, you will never understand. You don't want what it's like to be a giving nice person. You are not a good person. He didn't take care of us. He was never here. Just like you, you fucking piece of shit. You probably don't take your kids either. You know, you're a fucking scumbag. You know, this is probably what you do all day. You come and harass little women like me. Now, again, I've seen a whole slew of pictures, and it was probably one of the rougher homes I've ever seen at an eviction. And according to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of $15,000. Now, do you have any intention of paying her back the $15,000 that you cost her? I don't I don't think I cost her fifteen thousand dollars. There's no way. I would say that's a fairly accurate number based upon the condition the home was left in, the lack of rent, the court costs. Uh, I mean, these are some pretty atrocious photographs that uh, we've seen uh, of both the home, the deck, the yard, the shed, everything. It was pretty destroyed. You guys the chopped that home up pretty bad. Destroyed. The deck was rotted when we moved in. It was unsafe. The realty company wouldn't even walk on it. The deck is them. The bathroom is them. The back doors are them. Both back doors are rotted out. That's all on them. That's all. We got detailed photos of that stuff when we moved in. Yeah, we do. I understand you have your photos, but what I'm, I'm telling you is a person who's in, in the business as well, from the photographs that I saw, it... It, it is a fair estimate that uh, what you did what, with the items you left in the home, the condition of the home, the holes in the wall, the dirt, the grime, the filth, uh, the, the cars in the backyard, the boat in the backyard. It, it is very fair to say that it is going to cost this, this woman at least $15,000 to fix the things you did to her home. the car, yeah. I gotta move him at once. Yeah, yeah. Because when he left us out of here, he took my keys to all my vehicles. Yeah. So, he, and with him coming over trying to get the BMW, because that does work. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Well, at least you've got it back in the driveway, but you don't want to leave, you know, one. Right, that's why we're going to get them all at once, because uh, <clears> my dude down on 66, he'll tell him for 60 bucks, or I mean $40 for the BMW, but the, um, the Spectrum, I leave to get it out of here with no problem, you know? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that, that one. Sounds crazy. I mean, but no, but he like he even tried to um we had to get pay $125 for the truck to get a key. Mm -hmm. And then the van, I sold the van because I only had one key because he kept talking about he just he's gone. We had a business to right. We own a construction business. That dude you're yeah. About? yeah. Dude, he had a lot of potential and like he got into crack, like seriously. Yeah. I'm like you're the oldest of five of them. They always look up to him. I mean, he had a lot of potential. Well, I mean, when they steal from us, yeah. No, 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 no. You're the abuser. You're over here on my property. You're harassing me. I'm on my property, and, and you're stealing from me. That's why I'm here. Remember, like, my house. You live there, but you're stealing. Like, you're stealing. No, you're what? stealing from me. None of this shit works. Then why don't you move out? I'm trying. Believe me. Bro. For the last fucking time, don't call me your fucking bro. <coughs> Dude. I'm a woman. I I get it. I'm literally just trying to reason with you. 
so we can you're get piss you. Me off, you're gonna piss me off. So we can get you out of here peacefully, and you're not making the situation any worse, bro. This is like literally. You're a fucking abuser. Okay. You're a, you you hate women? No. You're a fucking abuser. I don't know what that has to do with anything that me and you have to do with. I don't. You know, in fact, you're aggressive, and you're scaring this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, but you got. So are you just not gonna pay then? We're just not doing this. You're just. I have to come back with, with the, the cops, and I have to take it. I have to take your kids' beds and stuff out of the house. You know, here I'll have my people talk to your people, and then we'll figure it all out. Once my baby daddy's home, we'll go from there. I, I don't think he's coming, but. Bye. Okay. All right. So seriously, like, I get it. Like you're slamming the door. You're shut. You're shutting the door today, right? But like, literally. After this, you're not gonna have the ability to shut the door. We're gonna come in, so can we just work this out. I would fucking take the door with me if you're gonna kick my ass out of here. God, this fucking girl, bro. <laughs> and also, costs we're including in that, of course, is the the rent you didn't pay her, the money she had to pay the management company and the attorneys to actually evict you, folks. It's gonna cost her approximately fifteen thousand dollars. I would say that's a fair estimate. Do you plan on paying back any of that, or if you think it's a lower number, are you working out? some type of an agreement with her to pay her a lesser number so you guys can part ways uh, with all debts paid? Uh, I would like to, yeah. Yeah, I don't like I don't like leaving debts or leaving, you know, leaving things the way they are. I don't. What steps have you taken thus far to pay her back the money you owe her? Uh, I haven't taken any steps yet. I'm still trying to get on my feet to figure out what we're going to do. What are you currently doing? Where did you go after that? Uh, we're sleeping at a friend's house right now, and we'll be staying at a hotel here pretty shortly. Now, are are you working? Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a hundred percent disabled vet, but I'm trying to work where I can. I had to I had to put school on hold because of all the things that happened last year, and uh, we're, we're just trying we're trying to make it. I'm sleeping on the couch with one eye open. Yeah, Right, right. That's why I'm like, it was crazy. I keep all my mouth that you know, I got one or two that shit. Yeah, I mean, that's... But I'm not going to leave a mess, you know that. I'm like... No, it looks like you guys are doing great. I mean, I, I'm getting charged for all this. Yeah, well... I mean, that's what I'm saying. We're supposed to be on Lake Court, I think, 2.30, but I'm not I'm not going. Yeah, I, I've I mean, got to get this shit out, you know? Don't get screwed for that, you know what I mean? I don't know what time sport is, Worst case scenario, if you got to be there, you know, we're going to leave your stuff, go do it, come back, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what time court, but I think it's 2 o'clock, maybe. Yeah. I think that's what time it starts on Thursdays at 2 o'clock. Yeah. But I don't want to get screwed for it, like, hey, property damage, what's that it? shit wasn't from me. Yeah, what, is it for here, that court? Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. What's what's the... It's a property, I think I got the paperwork. I'm curious. I, I don't know, I don't know, that's the whole thing. But, yeah. like, when I came, the way I came in, it's the way it was. Yeah. The holes in the wall, my son was going to fix it and everything like that. Yeah. And that's his temper. And the, the window upstairs he busted. I'm like, okay, if I say I'm going to fix it. You know, that's not the type of person I am. Right, you know, and now I'm like, now I'm on an addiction with my name not even on it. Yeah. I mean, because I said I'll take my natural responsibility. You know, I'm a good person. I'm not going to fuck nobody over. Like, I was, I was raised by a Marine. I was too right, you know, straight to the point. You know, bullshit. You pay, you pay. Sure. You no, know? No, and, yeah, and mean, this is just like. So what's the, the court thing for what? Like, I don't. I don't. It didn't say detail. It's just that. Um, I think I might have it in my purse. Man, look at those two dudes right there, bro. You can tell those guys do this all day, man. Those dudes are jacked up. Now, if anybody's uh, curious to know the dynamic of of what we have going on over there, there's there's three groups uh, of people here making this eviction happen right there's three groups of people delivering you guys the magic right what we have is you got all of the actual Holton Wise employees right so myself the two guys in my car right now filming me Steve and Tom and then we got that guy right there with the camera that's Matt and then you guys saw Vince we were talking to Vince earlier and then we had Gary here okay those are all Holton Wise employees uh, Vince and Gary are going to be changing the locks uh, when we're done here and they were able to provide access uh, for the bailiffs and the moving crew. That is the other two groups of people, right? So like the guy handling the couches and all that stuff, all those guys that are not wearing the Holton Wise uh, branded attire. Like that guy right there, you know, carrying the big ass mattress, right? These uh, dudes that are, you know, pretty muscled up from moving all day, 
Those are a separate company that works for Holton Wise that handles move outs. The way move outs work is the actual landlord itself, right? So Holton Wise, uh, believe it or not, by Cleveland law, we are actually not physically allowed to touch any of the tenant's belongings. Uh, so like if I, for some reason, wanted to hop out of this truck right now, and go carry a couch out of the, the house and put it on the front lawn. I don't, but like if I wanted to, uh, I actually would not legally be allowed to. Just like any of my other guys you see over there with the branded attire, they're not actually allowed to do that either. You have to hire a third party uh, arm's length company uh, that has previously been approved by the city of Cleveland. Uh, you know, the city of Cleveland, the housing court, they give you like a whole list uh, of these companies and you choose choose uh, which one of those you'd like to work with we've been talking to you guys you whoever not me no. we've been talking no. to you guys mm -hmm. for like three fucking weeks what i'm trying to tell you is we're not doing that anymore this is literally I don't know you. What's your name? james i'm the owner of holton wise this is literally the last time anyone is ever gonna talk to you like you don't know me you don't know him dude. What the fuck is so funny? bro <laughs> what the fuck is so funny it's, it's just like you, you seem to be jeez that Ooh, dark. Dark. okay whoa, bro. whoa dude dude calm okay i why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me whoa don't touch the camera uh, look okay Kristen. all right calm down hey whoa hey okay i get it you are mad I understand you are you are angry, but like, lip. I'm, I'm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually trying to help you right now because again, I'm trying to help you. No, I don't want the the whole eviction thing to transpire because that is gonna suck, especially this is garbage. especially for the Throw kids the we're talking about. But like, if you hit me, like, you can't, <coughs> you can't, you can't hit me. You can't hit the camera, dude. Okay, like I get it, but same thing. Like I'm gonna have to cut this short. We're gonna have to roll, but literally. I have to give you this notice. You have three days. I gotta have the full 950. If I don't have it in the three days, I file with the courts, and then a little bit later, the cops and my movers, they're coming. I won't be there that day. You know what, get the fuck out of here. There's nobody that's gonna be able to argue with you, and, and they're just, they're gonna come in. Bye. They're, they're coming in. All right, dude, come on. Seriously, like, that's not fucking doing anything. Can we just, Fucking resolve this. Dude, what the fuck are you could, still doing? Could here? we just? You're a woman of uh, future. Okay, bro. Could we just? Dude, get the fuck out of here. Dude, could we just fucking resolve this? Okay. I just found out about this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm gonna go to court. And then the day I'm supposed to go to court, I'm gonna clean the windows with my daughter that got cancer. She's 17 years old. My daughter got diagnosed with skin cancer. They gotta do an incision from here to here and scrape the bone mm -hmm. to make sure it's not in the bloodstream because it is uh. Type A uh, spit tumor that became, which is a part of the mon mononolin, mon you know, it goes in the bloodstream, okay? So, but. The what? No, it's, it's mononola, mononola, uh, something like that. Okay. My, my, you know what I'm talking about. Sure. Okay, but for it to be, my mom had a terminal, mm -hmm. okay, because it just went through, mm -hmm. not even knowing she was sick. My daughter said this for three years, that she was pregnant. So we never thought, you know, there's like a little skin tag that became like big. It grew with her through her pregnancy. We turn around and we have a little bit of skin tag. And one and three fifths deep. You know, so it's nothing to fuck around with. But the day I was supposed to go to work, I'm going to tell you a clinic with her. So I didn't even go to eviction court. I'm like, man, I hope it's not on my record. And when the bailiff came in here, he's like, you're not even on the lease. I said, I don't understand. Okay? The cops were like, look. I said, I, you see half my shit's packed. And then for that room and those rooms to look like that, like somebody scared it through my shit. Because look at all my containers. Yeah, I mean, you see how my containers are as they're coming out or how they were packed. You go on video, all you see is containers packed. I got fucking PlayStation out there, you know, cereal equipment. But that's probably too obvious to walk out the house with. You were looking at the jewelry. I took my jewelry box, you know. But the day I, I didn't go to court. I went the week before because that's what I thought it was. I didn't go that week, you know. And uh, 
I'm like, I don't need this shit on my record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I mean, well, maybe it depends. But well, they wouldn't have even known I was here. Yeah. DEA, he's a U.S. Marshal for the thing now. Um, my aunt, and then my brother-in-law is a um, cop for a second, and then my aunt is a sheriff deputy downtown sexual detective. So, you know, and I'm the worst one of them, you know, but um, he's been stalking her and everything else. I mean, you know, she's a nurse and everything. He's bad. He's bad. Like, and she, she went to court and she got a restraining order on him. And the judge is like, I mean, he's convincing. You know, like, oh, no, no, innocent, but I'm like, I'm glad she did what she did. And then I'm like, asked her, talk to her as a female, female, like, what's going on? Does that mean it's about that time? We're almost done here? No, it's not done. <laughs> Putting this up, it's, uh, Take a yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. It's nice. So this is up. This door leads upstairs. Yeah. You got to change this lock right here. Yeah, we'll change. Uh, well, we'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt, and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs too. Chris, you got to take that all the way down. It's too heavy. Oh, I meant upstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it's a, hey, it's a, but no, you probably good. Never mind, it's like the, oh, it's Cleveland. That's the city. Own homies. Oh, they just came to make sure we weren't putting the stuff on the sidewalk. Uh, the tenant that lives there is a fucking piece of shit, right? Like, let's not make any qualms about this. This tenant is a fucking asshole. Now, only is this tenant not paid rent um, since June, right? So I already went over that at length, right? June, July, August, September, October. But on top of that, uh, we get nothing but complaints uh, from the rest of the neighbors and the neighbor that actually lives in there. I guess he just walked up to the gate. Just thought he was gonna leave. So now they're giving him a state charge. He didn't even leave the facility though. Hmm. I said, okay, well let me call you back for a second. Um, all the stuff in the basement, it's not mine. The uh, other washer and like, everything else, and we're just almost done with upstairs. So. Okay. That's good. Uh, trying. I'm trying. No, it's good. Fucking it's hungry and high, I'm tired and I shit. Get it. No, it's night and day different than it was. So. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. Really good. It's cool. I'm trying, you know. Sure. Cool. I appreciate it, you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, your brother's uh, in charge of an adult. Don't show up. You're giving him a escape charge. Everyone saw that? Huh? Yeah, everyone saw that coming. Well, no, I guess he just walked in the thing. <laughs> Touch the camera. Yo, scumbags, fuck you. I'm never gonna stop filming. Yeah, this is fucking illegal. This is disgusting. You're a fucking scumbag. You don't get leader, you fucking loser. What the fuck's wrong with you? You know what? Here. You kinda need that. Get the fuck off my property before I call the police. Okay, I'm gonna leave, but again. Yes. If I leave, the next time anyone is coming here, it's with the cops. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, okay. Let's work something out, please. You don't have to do this. I know you're not an asshole. Right. I, I would love to work something out, okay? I get it, I wanna work something out, but what I gotta work out with you is literally 
you have to pay it in three days. Look, I thought we agreed on Wednesday. We thought Wednesday was going to be cool for that three seventy five. Nine fifty. You know, fuck you, you fuck piece of shit. Okay. Fuck you. Get the fuck off my property. Crazy. Okay. Watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.